African American, we were on slave ships. We were indoctrinated into Christianity. Mm. How do you think that has played a role on men's psyche today? As far as that religion is not for them, but they still want to serve a higher power. Well, I'll say this. Um, one of the things, uh, and what, what does affect the men's psyche, um, to the highest degree is the woman. What affects a man's psychological behavior to the highest degree is a woman. And let me tell you all this. The reason why I say this is because if you look at men today, if you just look out into nature, the male aspect of what you would say uh, figure, whether it's in nature or in the humanity, uh, human, human society, generally nine times out of 10 is not the nurturing influential aspect as that, as that man or child is developing into what it will become. Now we can say that the systems and the laws and the infrastructure, as far as what's being, you know, put in today's society and the patriarchal society, that is definitely something that is shaping the, you know, the infrastructure and, you know, the ways that people can move their energy in society because they say you can do this and you cannot do that. This is frowned upon and this is not frowned upon. There is uh, there is a societal norms and there are certain things that is accepted and is not accepted in today's society, which is shaping the constructs of, you know what I'm saying, uh, the man in today's society, but if we were really looking at it, even on a genetic level, when the when the child is in the womb of a mother for that nine months, whatever that woman is going through is going to through the process of methylation. Y'all can look this up. It's called uh, epigenetics and epigenetics. They talk about scientists talk about this process of methylation. It's called the methylation process, meaning that certain genes um, are being selected through mm -hmm. that process in which the development of that child is going to fit the environment in which it's being born into. Now, when, what we have to also understand is that the mother, if she's under stress, if she's um, you know, going through it with her said you know, husband, because we know the infrastructure is already broken down, tore down. So when that's happening, that stress is also being put on the child, which this is why some children would develop, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, behavioral patterns, mood swings, because guess what? Their mom was going through that mood swing in that in that nine month birth process. You feel what I'm saying? You in a chamber, you know what I'm saying? Your mom is literally, you're in, in a hyper chamber is what, uh, what, a, you know, what that nine months is where she's speeding up the seed of a life process to be able to c conduct that with her body to be able to move. That's your women are literally like, um, y'all scientists you know what i'm saying y'all y'all have the incubation ability to be able to bring life into this world so if we're talking about what is impacting men's behavior and look at what men do we get all kinds of money we floss and we flex and what so we can track the woman you know what i'm saying people in new york if you want to know what a, a, a if you want to know the nature of a man you know what i'm saying at his lowest go to new york <laughs>